Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vive once again. So in today's video, we are going to see a very interesting tutorial inside Unreal. Yes, today's video will be a Unreal video. And if you think I should make Unreal video frequent, please do comment. So in today's video, we are going to see how PCG network works inside Unreal and by using PCG network, how we can create our scene in very less time. So without any delay, let's get started okay as you can see over here i have created my landscape already because i don't want to waste too much time so to start our pcg network first thing first you need to take care about the plugin if it's enable or not to enable that plugin you have to go to setting and you have to go to plugins and here you have to type procedural and you have to make sure procedural content generation framework is on. If you're doing it for the first time, it will ask to restart. You need to restart. Already I have done, so I don't need to restart it. So after that, you have to go to your content drawer and make sure you have created your PCG folder. And you need to right click over here and you have to go to PCG and PCG graph. You can rename it by demo or whatever you want to name it. And after doing that, you have to double click it. And once you are going to double click it, this kind of interface will open and it is pretty much similar to Blueprint, right? So here in input, I have few things I can expand it. So first thing first, you need to create how your distribution will be. Now I want my distribution on landscape. So I'm going to drag and I'm going to type surface sampler. What surface sampler will do, it will automatically distribute some points so that I can know where my distribution will be, right? So to see it, you need to debug it by clicking debug option or you can select any node and you can hit D to debug it, right? So once this is done, just save it. And what you have to do, hit control space bar and you need to remove your filters and you need to drag your PC graph to your scene. And as you can see, I am having my distribution something like that. For now, I'm going to make it 50 by 50, something like that. You can do whatever you want, but at start 50 by 50 or 25 by 25 would be the good variation, right? I can see lots of points over there. So I need to control it. So I'll go one more time in my PCG graph and here I can control my distribution over here. So just select surface sampler and I'm going to probably point um, scaling or point extents, not scaling. I'm going to keep it five by five by five and I'm having pretty small size. It's nothing to do with size, but yes, for distribution, we'll be needing it, right? Apart from that, if you want less data, so you need to reduce point per square meter, but I'm going to keep it 0.1, right? Apart from that, you can change seed. So you can change positions or looseness. If I'm going to increase looseness, the distance between all the elements will change, right? Apart from that, if I need to control scale and rotation of my elements, what I can do, I can click and drag and I can type transform. That will be transform points. And in transform points, I can control rotation, scaling and everything. So I, I'm not going to change offset, but yes, I'm going to change my offset rotation. So probably minimum will be zero and maximum I am going to do 360. So automatically you can see I'm getting changes. And if you want to debug it, just hit D and probably scaling, uh, it might possible 0.5 to 1 if needed. I can change it in coming time as well. So apart from that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace my points with my mesh, right? So I'm going to click and drag and probably I'll type static mesh spawner. And you have to keep it in mind that this option is little hardware dependent, especially graphics card, right? So I'm going to select it and in static mesh spawner, you are getting mesh in trees, right? You can add as much as copy you want, but for, for this case, I'm going to add three or four, three would be good for me. And after doing it, you can expand it. And in descriptor, you will have your static mesh option. So already I have downloaded few things like uh, in mega scan, if I'm going to hit static mesh filter and I have lots of grasses, right? So first thing first, I'm going to create grasses like probably I can select uh, this grass. I can close it. 
I'll go to next index descriptor and I'm going to select probably a uh, dry leaf kind of stuff, something like that. I'll close it and go to next one and I'll select another variation for that, right? After doing everything, I'm going to save it. It nothing to do with saving and all. But if I'm going to see, I can see. Can you see that? My grass is coming pretty small, right? So I have to change transformation properties. I need to scale it. So probably in scale minimum, I can do it might possible. I can do 15. Let's see how it's coming. Now it's too big, but uh, let's keep it 10 and max will be 15 or 25. The variation should be there, right? Probably I'll scale in Y axis as well, like 15 or 25. Let me do 15, 15 and 15. And you can see it's too big, but uh, in coming time, I'm going to change it right now. As I can see, I'm getting my grasses over here, but it's not the way I want. So probably I'll go to surface sampler and uh, it might possible I can increase point per square like one or two. So as I'm going to do one or two, you can easily see I'm getting good amount of my grasses on the ground. But if you can see it's too big. So what I can do now, I can change scaling as well. So let's go to our PCG network and let's go to our transform points and probably in scale minimum, I can do might be six on let's lock it and do it like eight, right? So can you see that? So now it's pretty less. And if I want, I can change my distribution as well. So just go over here in my PCG network and just go over here and probably I'll do it one or two, two might be two. So now I can see my grasses are distributed pretty fine, right? If you want to add your trees, suppose it, I want to add trees. So how I can do that? It's same way I can do it, right? Just go to your PCG network one more time. And again, I'm going to hit tab and going to type surface sampler, right? And on same landscape, I want to add my trees. And after that, I'm going to take a static mesh spawner. Later on, I can change the position and scaling. So in static mesh spawner, again, I'm going to add my elements like two or three variations. Probably I'm going over here and descriptor. I'm going to add few things like I can add some trees like I'm not going to add heavy tree, but I'm going to add few smaller trees because I don't want my scene to be heavy. So this will be my first tree. And again, this will be my second tree. And again, this will be my third tree. If you want, you can add more trees. It's all up to you. But as you can see, I'm adding and again and again, I'm getting my trees in my scene. Can you see that? It's little heavier. So what I can do, you can easily see I am getting my trees, right? So if I want to add some variation, yes, I can do that. Just go to your PCG network and again, I can hit surface sampler and probably I'll start tweaking it like 25, 25 and 25. Let me tweak it, right? And as I'm tweaking it, you can easily see I'm getting changes over here and probably 0 0.001. Let's start with 0 0.001. And as I'm going to put 0 0.001, you can easily see very less or very few trees I'm getting. So probably I'll start with 0 0.01 or 0 0.05 for the sake of my PC, right? I can increase it anytime. And after that, I can add a probably transform points and in transform points, I can do this. I can add a rotation variation because I want a rotation in a different, different angle and probably scale minimum should be 0.3 or 0.4 depending upon your requirement and uh, max scaling. Probably I'll do 1.5. So some bigger tree will have and some smaller tree will we will have, right? 
so if you want to reduce numbers of distribution of trees you can do it in a different way as well so i am going to take another node called denoise probably not denoise it's named density noise and again i'm going to add density noise and in density noise to control again den uh, on the basis of density noise i'm going to use a uh, density filter probably i'm doing it wrong but uh, that's the way how i found it it's working pretty fine to me and again in density filter if i'm going to increase it my numbers or my values or my numbers of trees are changing as per my noise filter right so once this is done you can start tweaking things like i can go oh like this can you see it can you see it and it's working pretty fine to me and again you have to play with lods because if you are going to see from far you can easily see you are not getting good bushes but if you are going to close you can easily see you have this right so this is something you need to take care about your lods like level of detail i think this video will help you to understand the basic of pcg graph and if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to comment your thoughts in comment box and if you need i will make advanced version of pcg network graph and for that also you have to comment in the comment if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfx vibe signing off have a good day